there folks so we're gonna start a new video series this is called lift driver hit by drunk driver so um, I'm not sure if I ever mentioned this before but I have been driving for Lyft it's a ride sharing app a lot like uber and two days ago two nights ago Saturday or I guess it was Sunday October 28th at 12.08 a.m. right after midnight I was rear-ended by a drunk driver on 28th and Lindale in downtown Minneapolis and as you can tell there's significant damage to my car this is my tire lower spare tire lower my rear bumper is completely damaged I had a tow hitch that is severely angled now um, and that was pushed up against the ground um, this drunk driver uh, was not using their headlights, did not even attempt to brake, and was very intoxicated, was fighting with police, and belligerent. Um, according to the police report that I've been able to find so far, um, she did not have a driver's license or insurance, so I am really um, potentially screwed right now, and this video series is going to document how well or how poorly Lyft handles this situation. Being a dedicated Lyft driver for the last year, this is my primary source of income as a stay-at-home dad. I drive um, people to and from you know work and their rides primarily Fridays and Saturday nights where I'm able to make you know 200 bucks a night. I can't even think of another job that I might be able to make that kind of cash around my wife's work schedule. Um, and the reason I'm a stay-at-home dad is because childcare is so expensive. So, this is obviously um, really detrimental to me making money. Let's get underneath the car here. You can see my frame is totally smashed. Totally smashed. My rear, my rear uh, gate does not open. My rear fifth door does not open. Again, because of that spare tire carrier. Spare tire is pressing against my uh, rear transaxle there, my rear differential. And you can see just how far that hitch got smashed up against into my spare tire. Both sides of the frame. Here, we'll go to the other side. The whole back end of my car is completely smashed. Look at that. Look at that. So, um, I've already talked to a body shop. They did not rate me an estimate because they're going to wait for insurance and lift to see what they're going to do. And see that it's not supposed to be buckled up that high. This is all broken and pressed up. Um, that is supposed to be actually sit, sit flush. And that is not flush. That is about four inches higher than it's supposed to be. So she really crunched us. I had three passengers in the vehicle at the time. Um, all of which are okay. Nobody um, reported any injuries to the police, and because of that, um, no direct um, injury case is going to be made. I guess. I mean, I don't. I don't know what's going to happen here. You can see my gas door doesn't even shut because there's two giant. There's a giant kink right here, a giant kink right here. You can kind of see that. I mean, she hit us good. My my doors don't seal in the back anymore. And what's worse is that, um, you know, again, this is my primary source of income. I, I don't have any other jobs besides being a volunteer firefighter, which isn't obviously a, a paying job. And uh, this really screws us because this vehicle we bought brand new um, with very low mile, brand new 2012 when we bought it in 2012. And this vehicle has been paid off for years. Um, we've maintained... Uh, this vehicle very well. All the maintenance has been done. Tire rotates, oil changes, fluid changes, um, full automotive coverage through our insurance its entire life. And so we're totally screwed because, you know, we bought this car for uh, over 25 grand, you know, six years ago in 2012. Or it's 2018 now. So, yeah, six years ago at least. And uh, Kelly Blue Book on this on this uh, car right now is um, between five and seven grand, if calculated out to be a private party sale and in excellent condition, which I consider it to be, minus the car accident damage now. 
So this really puts a damper on obviously a, a whole lot of things. We can't afford a new car payment right now. We're a single family income with a three and a half year old and a baby on the way. Um, so this is gonna be uploaded to my YouTube channel. Um, share this uh, with other drivers that you know. Stay tuned, because I'll be documenting this. It's gonna turn into a vlog, because I'm gonna keep Lyft accountable and keep insurance, their insurance accountable. I'm gonna blow this up on all kinds of social media if they're screwing me over. I'm um, also probably going to be pursuing legal action against the drunk driver, because again, she didn't have a license or insurance. And being in no fault state here in Minnesota, um, I don't really have any other course of action to get reimbursed for my car. So we'll see how this goes. Um, also thinking about setting up a GoFundMe page because there's there's really nothing I can do right now um, at all. And this is a really, really, really shitty situation. So thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay tuned for uh, Lyft driver hit by drunk driver.